right, so we're up in the air here now. That's all live, 122, 40 volts. I'm gonna be cutting this while it's energized. Guys, welcome to another episode of Being a Lyman. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for 19 years, 18, I don't know. Anyways, so it's been a few weeks since I posted, guys. Um, it's been crazy busy, a little bit too busy, actually, both work, family life. Um, actually, I just put up these cool new blinds in the new house today, and uh, the fiance said, do something with all these boxes so me and young fella did what any father would do and that's uh build a box for it so we did that this morning and then we got called into work this afternoon so nothing major a uh, tree on the line but the last couple weeks it's just been crazy we had multiple vehicle accidents uh, a couple broken poles we even had a lightning storm which is really strange for this time of year but Anyways, guys, to get on with today, we're going to be covering a video that happened just a few, this was two weeks ago, and that's with a metal roof on a house. So we actually changed our standards to accommodate uh, a common occurrence this time of year. That's all the snow builds up on the roof of a house. And you get that metal roof in the springtime when the hot sun comes out and heats up that metal and it melts that bottom layer of snow. And that comes sliding down off that roof. You might get like two or three tons worth of snow just coming down and wham, it takes out everything in its path. Decks, electrical wires, uh, I see patio furniture, just, it makes a mess. So we had this actually happen a few weeks ago. I didn't realize quite what had happened at first when I showed up, but uh, anyways, let's go, let's rewind to a couple weeks back and check it out guys. We're just in the new house putting some shelves together. And uh, work just called, said that the homeowner heard a loud bang and looked outside and their mast was laying on the ground. So uh, we're going to go check that out. I imagine it's going to result in a disconnect from an electrician doing some work. So let's go see what we got. Kind of weird that someone's mast would fall off their house right now because it's not a Breath of wind, no snow, no rain, no nothing. All right, so we're here now. We'll give you guys a quick idea what's going on here. That phone line up there is holding the mast from going all the way to the ground, thankfully. The uh, neighbor was saying there was a new, looks like this guy right here, that fiber, was run recently and I see they got it tied to the mast, might have been a bit too tight, but uh, there's the lag bolt that was in the house that ripped right out. So the way that's tweaked there, there's a good chance that might have broke a lug inside the meter box. So before we do anything, we're going to go up to that pole and disconnect the two hots. And then we're going to get that cut off the mass and I'll coil that up while it's de-energized. Probably hang it right up top of the pole. We'll get a hold of the homeowner. They'll have to get a permit and electrician to rebuild that mast. And once that gets done, then we'll come back and uh, hook their loop back up. All right, so we're up in the air here now. That's all live, 122, 40 volts. I'm going to be cutting this while it's energized, which it's no problem, um, gonna have to watch that neutral and stuff. But whoever hooked this up left the triplex all wound together. So that's, uh, that's not really good practice. Um, I'm probably gonna wanna cut it right around here somewhere so we can keep that street light on. And uh, it's gonna be hard to spread that to get enough clearance of the bolt cutters. So uh, that's why you see the wires spread out a little more, makes it a little easier, to, a little safer to work with. All right, so just one more thing, guys. So we got that lead cut. This is the live end here. We are taped up, and this is the dead side here. But you can see I also got that taped up because we didn't pull that meter off because it's probably damaged. So two things. 
if you're cutting leads with the meter on with the load on you do not want to cut that neutral first you want to leave that neutral intact until um, until both life fuses are cut that we don't cause any damage to the house from high voltage uh, or, uh, or low voltage on either phase and uh, where that other lead is still hooked up and that meters on we're gonna be gonna be getting back feed on this guy right here that's why we get her taped up so even though it's the dead side if I were to put a voltmeter on that there'd probably be a good 70 or 80 volts back feeding through that leg through uh, say the water heater or any 240 volt that's on right now so let me get that other lead cut and uh, we'll get that wire cold up right, so we've got both those leads cut now there's no need to uh, tape the end of this guy this time now that they're both cut off neutral still intact we also unwound the triplex from that neutral so when we go to hook back hook that back up there's going to be a lot more room to work with especially with the telephone being this close up in the pole here all right so we got a hold of the homeowner Luckily there was no other damage inside, didn't break the lugs or nothing, but we're going to get that wire off and hang it up in the pole, that way we can get an electrician to come get this all fixed up. And after a closer look, all that clumps of snow in the front, it actually came off his roof, it's a metal roof. So you can see on the, his garage roof there's quite a bit of snow, and up on the main roof black so you can't really see that well but it's a metal roof and all that snow real sunny day that roof heated up and she come down and just one big tidal wave of snow and uh, she ripped that wire right off as a matter of fact our code now we're not allowed to hook up a house um, unless the mass pipe goes through the roof if they end up building with a metal roof for this very reason so we're gonna leave that mass pipe hung up right there in that telephone wire so it doesn't keel over anymore and cause any more damage. All right, so we took that wedge clamp and hooked it right onto the J-hook. All we need is 11 feet off the ground um, for temporary wire installations. So we've got a good 20 feet there, all kinds of height. So we'll leave that for the night. The homeowner's gonna get electrician first thing in the morning. Then we'll get this fella hooked back up. All right, so like I was saying, all we need is that uh, 11 feet off the ground. We got more than enough. We have that temporarily there. The whole loop is de-energized with two blocks cut. All the weights off the mass. The electrician can do his work. Pain in the butt for the customer. But anything, they're gonna be without power for the night. We'll get them fixed up tomorrow. As long as that electrician has all this permits and stuff in place. Other than that, guys, we're gonna head back home, see if we can't get a couple more shelves built before we go to bed for the night. All right, guys, so metal roof, something to consider when you're converting from asphalt to metal and you're in a snowy climate. Who would have thought, eh? But uh, before we go, um, just a sneak peek, guys. Coming up soon, we get the saw sent down from Husqvarna for us to try out. It's the first ever uh, gasoline powered dielectric pole saw it says there's a sticker on it that's rated for it was either 36 or 37 kilovolts so i just got that thing out of the box we haven't even got it put together yet but we're going to be trying that out real soon we're going to be doing some tests on it we're going to be checking the dielectric rating all that stuff so that's coming up here real soon guys um if if this thing uh, is what it says it is it really could be a game changer Lots of times we have trees down on the line that we have to get a permit and grounds on in order to cut it from the ground. But if this thing is, if this thing tests dielectric as it should, um, we can save a lot of time and still work safely on some of these small outages. So stay tuned guys, make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna have that video coming up soon. Let me know where you're watching from and we'll see you next time.